Hey guys, problem three here, and um, remember that cosh x is e to the x plus e to the minus x all divided by two, and so sech x is uh, one over cosh x, and therefore this. And so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is replace this here sech x with two divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. Yeah, and so doing that looks like um, this. But we're going to write the e to the minus x as 1 over e to the x. And then it would mean that we'd have to get common denominators here, which means that this turns to e to the x squared and then plus 1 all divided by uh, e to the x, right? Okay, but this is the same as putting this e to the x next to that 2 there. And so that's what we're going to do. And then from there, we're going to u substitute. So if we let u equal e to the x, du is e to the x dx. So um, du is uh, equal to u dx, right? Because u is e to the x. And so we go back to uh, the integral and substitute for everything else. Uh, but first, yeah, using this equation here, we've solved for dx. dx is du over u. So what we're going to get is 2u and then divided by u squared plus 1 and then dx is du divided by u. And so when we replace dx, we see that this u here is going to cancel that u there. And so that means that we could take out the constant 2 and write it in front of the integral, where our integrand becomes 1 over 1 plus u squared du. And that is a popular antiderivative this here, right? It's arctan u. So our final answer is 2 arctan u uh, plus c. Arc 10 is the same as 10 inverse, right? And recalling that u is e to the x, we so write 2 um, 10 inverse e to the x plus c. And that is that. Take care.